Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. So what are we going to see today? We'll be learning how to create a database in Firebase. But before that, if you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated. All right, let's get started. Open Google Chrome and type Firebase Console in the search bar. Click on the official Firebase website. Once the Firebase homepage loads, click on Go to Console at the top right. Now click on Create a Project to start setting up a new Firebase project. Here, enter your project name. In this case, let's name it ESP32 with Tempumi. Once done, click Continue. Click Continue again. Then, enable Google and, and click Continue once more. Default account for Firebase, then click Create Project. Firebase will now prepare your project. This might take a few seconds, so just wait until the setup is complete. Once it's ready, click Continue, and that's it. Your Firebase project is now successfully created. Next, head over to Real-Time Database under the Build section. This will take some time, so we need to wait for a while. After waiting for a while, the Sync Data page will open. Now we need to click on Create Database. Next, select the location and click Next. Use Test Mode and then enable it. It will take some time to complete, so we need to wait for it. Now we have received the database URL and we need to copy and save it. Scroll up then click. Open Project Settings from the left panel. Go to Service Accounts. This will take some time, so we need to wait. Now all our details are displayed here, including the database URL. So what we need to do now is copy it and proceed to the next step in the second way. Now go to the Project Settings again. There is no Web API key available. If we need a Web API key, we have to generate it. Now let's check how to generate it. Scroll down and choose the appropriate option. We will then be redirected to the register app. In that, the Android package name should follow the correct format. Here it is given as com.row.esp32. Next, the app nickname should be Water Irrigation System. After filling in both fields, we need to click on the Register App button. Now, we need to download the Google Services.json file. Once downloaded, it will click Next to proceed. In the Add Firebase SDK step, click Next. In the next step, click on Continue to Console. Now go to the downloaded file and copy the Web API key. All the details are available here, including the URL. Now we have all the necessary links, including the database URL and API key. Next, we need to click on Real-Time Database. This will take some time, and then the link will appear. After that, click on the plus icon in the key field, Enter Sensor then click on the plus icon. In the key field, enter temperature, and for the value, set it to zero. Again, click on the plus icon, enter humidity as the key, and set the value to zero. Again, click on the plus icon, enter soil moisture sensor as the key, and set the value to zero. Now click on Add. If you open the Sensor section, you will see all the entries we created. Now click on the plus icon again and enter Relay as the key. Now click on the plus icon again, enter State as the key, and set the value to Off. That's it, we've completed everything. Now if we check, we can see that their relay has been created along with everything else we added. That's it. Now, once we connect the sensor, the data will be stored in the database. We can continue further in the next video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll be happy to help.
Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share it with your friends. Your support keeps us going. Stay tuned for more exciting content. Thanks for watching.